Hi, I'm Matt. And I'm Pat. And our topic <laughs> is the uh, overweight ballerina. Uh, now, I'm taking the stance that the ballerina should be criticized for being overweight. Because as a performance artist, it's she's cool gotta look good. Shut <laughs> up, In, in my opinion, I don't think that she should be criticized for her weight because she can still perform as a ballerina. Now, like, yes, she can continue to perform as a ballerina, but as a performance art, it would be more entertaining the more aesthetically pleasing she is. And unfortunately, fat people just don't look good. And in the entertainment industry, appearance is everything. So if she looks better, then people will be more likely to want to come see her. I don't necessarily agree that appearance is everything in any sort of performance art because the, the appearance of the presentation is indeed a factor, but I think that uh, the quality of it is more on the, uh, the content of the presentation as opposed to the appearance. And I think that it's still a, a legitimate performance art because, frankly, she's doing something that I can't do. Even if she is overweight, I think it should be even more of a show to show somebody that's doing something that they really ought to not be able to do. Mm. But on the other hand, I mean, fittingly, in like the culinary industry, you have to make something that looks good so people will eat it. So if you want people to come watch your ballerinas, you want to have a good looking ballerina. Traditionally, ballerinas are skinny, beautiful women. Yeah, but tradition isn't always necessarily a good thing. I mean, sometimes it's good to break with tradition, and maybe it could be considered uh, maybe almost an avant-garde form of ballet to have an overweight performer. And if you look at her, she's really not even overweight. She's just overweight for the standards of ballet. But they have the standards for a reason. I mean, those standards were set up so that ballerinas can achieve them, because they want ballerinas to look a certain way so that they can dance a certain way, to, ent to entertain people a certain way. Maybe in an armor guard performance it would be appropriate, but in the Nutcracker, a ballerina should be as beautiful and skinny as possible. I think that's more up to the audience than to any critic. I mean, it, if I want to go to a show with an overweight ballerina, I'm going to go to a show with an overweight ballerina. I mean, maybe that's a niche market that nobody's really been paying attention to. Well, for the market that's... She is attempting to go to a major performance, and if she wants to continue as a major performing artist, then she should try and fit herself into the views of Americans have of ballerinas. It's unfortunate, but it's what she has to do if she wants to continue walking as a ballerina. So do you believe that the first African-American ba baseball player should have changed to a white person? Uh, oh. We could be starting a new tradition with this. Well, I don't... That analogy is, uh, what's the word? I think it's skewed a little, because in sports you're competing against other people. A black person would be able to equally compete against other white people and win the sport. This is a performance art. It's entertaining. It should be what people want to see, not what, like, we think they want to see, or what we think they should be seeing. Unfortunate, but unfortunately that is true. So you're saying that she can't succeed as well because she's overweight? She won't succeed as well. I'm not saying that she's a bad performer. She could be the best ballerina in the world, but because she's overweight, people will perceive her as a bad ballerina. I don't think it should be considered as so subjective a thing. I think if you're a great performer, it shouldn't necessarily matter how you look if what you're doing is what you need to be doing. I mean, if the movements are pleasing to the eye and are aesthetically pleasing, then I don't think it should necessarily matter what the person themselves look like. I think as a performance art, appearance is very important. She's trying to make something that's all beautiful and graceful, and you just don't associate an overweight person with graceful. Well, I guess that's a difference yeah. in opinions. Yeah. Agree to disagree. Really summed it up.